What's up, guys? Steve here with Scotch and Things. Hey, it's been a while. Um, first, before we get into it, um, I just want to say thank you to you guys. Um, I don't know what made me post that last video. Obviously, it was like I was just... I was at the end of something, you know, and I just needed an outlet. And for me to kind of spill it all and I just I just needed an outlet and I want to say thank you to all you guys who watched it and reached out um the usual suspects you guys know who you are um thank you people who have never commented on videos before um left some really nice things and some people have reached out on on Instagram who had watched the video and found me on Instagram and it, it, it really meant a lot and it's, it's still just hard. Um, and I don't want to sound like some mopey, um, baby, but it's, it's different now. Life is, life is different. Life is going to be different. And I know everybody goes through it. It's just the unexpectedness that I'm having. Like, I it just, it's. Growing up sucks, man. You're like, if you could go back, everybody wants to grow up. But that time in your life, you know, junior high, high school, early 20s, you don't have any worries in the world, right? And then you grow up and it's kids and bills and responsibilities and, and life's just different. So I just want to say thank you guys. Um, thank you very much. I got a package to open from Satu Dave. If you watched his video, um, you know, I got something coming for my birthday and I truly appreciate it. Um, he didn't have to do that. It's funny. We have the same birthday. I mean, that's just hilarious. Um, I wonder who's older. Maybe we're the same age. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you guys, I mean, I've, the amount of outreach and, and contact and like, it's funny, like Keith is always reaching out to me even before this. But he's constantly checking on me and seeing how I'm doing. And, and all you guys are. But Keith's like my, he's like a little brother. Like you didn't, you didn't know you had, you didn't know you wanted. Um, and he's always reminding me because uh, I'm older, he's younger. <laughs> and I don't have any hair. So, Keith. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's talk about this real quick. Uh, I didn't want to do an unboxing for this. Um... Chris Reeve, Unumzan, S45 drop point. Uh, I didn't want to do an unboxing because I've done two before. I had a Tanto that I got from Beck, and then I got one last early last spring, last winter in a trade. Um, and I didn't hold on to that one very long. Um, I, I love the knife. This one, you know, I just took it apart yesterday. So the girls, my wife was like, well, what do you want for your birthday? And I'm like, I don't need anything. So if you see the hat, I said... Look, I've got, I've got this knife coming. I know I want the backspacer that replaces the the lanyard for it. It's like 15 bucks from Chris Reeve. And so she picked that up and, and got me a hat too. So that was kind of nice. Um, so I took this apart yesterday, got home. We should be, I am, that's another, I'm like, I am so backed up. Like my debt, like harvest is getting here, you know, winter is getting here and I've got my time to get projects done and I'm gonna be home for three or four days because of high winds, um, and it's you, we just can't work in that. I've explained that before, but when it's blowing 30, 40, 50 miles an hour, I you can't, we can't work. And it's, we've gone as far as we can go on our current project, and now I'm waiting. And then my other dealer, who knows that he's the next project. And I, I, I like him, he's a good dealer. And, but he's like, oh, what's going on? When you gonna be here? And I was like, you know, I would have been here. I would have been there in the spring if you would have got your concrete done. He just got his concrete pad poured last week. So you go to the end of the line. So just work stuff. It's just, life is just stressing me out. I need to shave. Um, Umnum's on. So I took it apart and I put, I put um, Gunny Glide in it, Gunny Juice. And I, I don't know, I think I might take it apart and switch it back to the Chris Reeve grease. I just think it's a better, that gunny glide is amazing stuff, but honestly, I think on these knives, I just think that 
that Gunny Glide is better. And David mentioned in his video, like my first one, my Tanto that I got in from Beck, um, that was strictly just a, like a work knife and I never really noticed it. That, that lock bar is kind of sharp because um, I always had gloves on when I used that one. Um, the action is just, this, there's something fun about the Unum's on compared to other Chris Reeves. It's just different. Um, but yeah, that lock bar is a little sharp and I just, I don't press into it with my thumb. I just kind of use this, like the side of my thumb and unfold it. Um, but I love it, but I do, I think the action is better on the grease, at least in my opinion. It's the Gunny Glide just hasn't, and, and usually like you put Gunny Glide in something and you give it a day or two and it's just like, and after a day, I'm, I'm still not. It's it's okay, but I I know it could be better. So I gotta I'm gonna have to work a little with this. Um, how I got this? Uh, so and actually, so it's been like a month. I think it was actually the day I made that Chris Reeve price increase video. It was like a set. It was like a month ago. Three. It was three. Yeah, it was probably like a month ago. Uh, my buddy Kevin was on vacation down in san antonio and he called me we were leaving the job site and he's like hey you've had he'd messaged me and he he's like hey uh i'm at a, a, a gun and knife store in san antonio and they've got umzons so i called him and he's like why you've had two of them why do you keep selling them like is should i pick one up and i'm like dude yeah i mean because he was just kind of starting i had loaned him uh, my Nkosi and a couple of Sabenzas to check out. And he was just starting to get into Chris Reeve. So um, I was like, yeah, no, dude, I, I love the knife. But I get guilty. Like, I, you guys see, I get a lot of knives coming in. I buy a lot of knives. And this was like the, like, you feel, you don't need to sell anything, but you kind of just feel like, oh, I, yeah, I feel guilty. I just bought this, this dollar mountain knives and, this is always this was always an easy sell. Like you can put this up and in in minutes you have money, you know, and it makes you feel better for spending other money. Um, this one I'm gonna keep though. Um, I'm gonna keep it. I, I like the drop point. I like the Tanto, but I like the drop point too. And I we were I had lunch with my buddy yesterday, and he brought his too. Um, and on my last one, it was the S35 one. This is S45. I this was I don't think this was as sharp. This isn't sharp, but this is. It's sharp enough where it's going to be great for, like, scraping stuff. Um, but I don't remember it being like that on that, my last one. Being, like I said, not not sharp, but sharp. Does that make sense? Um, but, yeah, I, I plan on keeping this one. And the Unumzan was always a knife you could get, right? Like, they're always for sale because guys can make money on them. Um but they've been dropping more. And anyway, so back to the story. He He's in Texas. He's in San Antonio. And I can't remember what the... It's on the box, but I can't remember. I'm like, I'm like, how many do they have? He's like... And he's talking to the guy. He's like, how many? He's like, seven. I'm like, dude, can you pick me one up? You know, because I knew the price increase was coming. I, I knew I wanted another Unum's on to finally keep and hold on to. And he's like, yeah. I said, I will let me know and I, I'll send you the money as soon as I get home because I was moving trailers and um, moving from one job to the next. So he got one and he got me one, got home, sent him the money. And, but then, you know, we live 40 minutes apart so we don't see each other all the time. And um, so, yeah, I knew I had this, this sitting at his house and, uh, and then, you know, I was like excited. Like aim for any knife, but then Monkey Edge. So this is gonna be kind of Monkey Edge has dropped one in the past. Their Monkey Edge frag patterns on, and I think what Zons are four fifty or they were four fifty. The Monkey Edge one is like six fifty, and that dropped last week. And people freaking out, man. Like they're selling guys are asking anywhere from like twelve hundred to two thousand dollars for these things, and. A guy got burned, so be careful out there, guys. Um, and this company had hit me up before when I was looking for a knife, and I just ignored them. I don't, like, if someone contacts me, like, that's weird if I haven't contacted you saying, hey, do you have this knife? Um, and it's a real store in somewhere in Georgia, I think. But someone copied their, put up a fake Instagram page for them, and, and 
got the knife or said they had a knife. So here, I mean, if you want something so bad and all these red flags, like how, how not to get scammed, right? Um, these things just dropped, I think, last Tuesday month. Man, I don't even, I don't honestly even remember when they dropped. Last week sometime, maybe Thursday? I don't, I don't know. They dropped last week sometime, Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. Um, and they, people were just starting to get them. And so someone contacts you saying they have one. And look, it was an exclusive from Monkey Edge, right? But another store contacts you saying they have an exclusive red flag. They're going to sell it to you for $600 when brand new it's $650 red flag. You know, he wanted to play with credit card. They said his credit card, I mean, all these red flags. I mean, just, you feel bad for the guy, but it's like, guys, use your, use your, you know, use common sense. Use your head. If something seems too good to be true, it, it usually is, right? But no. So yeah, I didn't want to do an unboxing because um, I've done two before on the Zon. Um, love it. Yeah, I just don't like this. It's hard, like if the blade's facing down, like Gunny Glide's great stuff. But man, I, these things just, in my opinion, run better on the grease. So I'm going to have to take this back apart and clean it and relube it. I thought it would maybe break in, but after a day, it hasn't gotten any, any better. But, so... Packets from Dave. What do we have? I, oh, and guys, we're getting all geeked out because the Monkey Edge one is in Magna Cut. Magna Cut and S45, they're they're pretty close, right? And does at the end of the day, does it really matter? I got, a, got all sorts of stuff. And, 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 and we'll see. A couple of these are mine coming back. We don't want to. Yep. So, so I would sent Dave a couple knives to check out. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Direware Tail Whip. God, this is such a epic knife, guys. So different from other Direwares. Like, Direware is just this spaceship looking. And this is kind of like a normal looking knife for Direware. Anyway, you've seen these. You don't want to see these again. Also sent them my... I was told this was an S90, but I guess it's a Hyper 90. I, I mean, I don't know, but a little, just a little chunk of a knife. I mean, like this is what you think when you think direware, right? And then you get something that's kind of normal looking. All right. So, Dave, I had, um, you know, back last spring, David let me check out his uh, Medford 187 RMP. And uh, and then I bought it from him, and then I sold it back to him, and then he made a scale. And I just kind of knew when I sent it back to him one day, like he's like, "I'm gonna be looking for you, one man," because he knew. I mean, this is I mean, this is such an awesome knife. So yeah, he got me a one eight seven RMP. Um, and it's such an awesome knife when I had the one from him. My buddy saw it and he's like, I oh, dude, I want and he tried to buy it from me for I mean, always, like everything, texting me all like I want that knife, man. What do I need to do to get that knife? And uh I was like, dude, I can't. I said it's it's Dave's and if I ever you know, it's it's gotta go back to him. And then he made the titanium scale and then I showed you that. So and then he was like, Which one do you want? I'm like, dude, I can't take I said, Give me thank you. Thank you, Dave, very much. Um, but I, I, he made the tie scale for his, and he, I got this one. And it's got the Vulcan, Vulcan finish. V Vulcan finishes are goofy, man. Sometimes there's a lot of color. Sometimes they're just, but it's a user, but it's in great shape. And these are just such fantastic knives. Um... I just can't say thank you enough. So, yeah, I'm I'm super excited. Um, super, super excited. So, thank you, Dave. Um, can't, I've got my own now. <laughs> yeah. So, I just... Uh, you guys are awesome. I mean, Dave didn't have to do this. He, he'd give me the, the, the KME 
Oh, let's talk about <laughs> the Kami. Um, real quick. Uh, so he last week before we left, I had finally set it up. And I did, uh, he said, start on a cheap knife. So I started on my, my ZT-0566 I had. And what is that, 20? Is that S35? I think it's S35. And, and it sharpened up real nice. I'm like, oh, I've got this. So, then, <laughs> so me being me, through my Monkey Edge frag pattern work knife um, SMF on there that needed a sharpening bad in 3V. It looks nice. It's just not sharp. I don't know what I did. Edge looks great. Cleaned up some chips, but it's, I got to go back and I got to, I got to take a step back and, and watch some videos and see what I did wrong there. Maybe I just need more time. I mean, it's a hard steal. So, I mean, I get why guys talk about why they like to sharpen one steel over another now. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, Dave. Epic. Just epic. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what else to say, guys. Um, I just appreciate everything. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.